in here. We got to get like, more balance. It's like it's falling. Come on. Hey, Steven, where'd you go? Oh, yeah, you're in a mad rush. Yeah. I'll help. Oh, thank yeah. You. Well, this has been the help we've had tonight. So. <laughs> So we got the rear end in with the leaf springs and we did not put those in backwards. So that was a big plus. Um, got the fuel lines and the brake lines put in. So that looks cool. They really turned out pretty nice. I had to do some slight bending. Um, looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with it. We made some serious progress tonight. Thanks to Mark and Steven coming over and helping me and Robert stopped by and uh, it, was, uh, it was very good. Did some uh, touch up paint work, which I'm getting better at. Got the, uh, it's looking pretty good so far. So what do you guys think? How many, how many more days before I get it to be a rolling chassis? Three. Wow, that's pretty, that's, uh, I like your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> before I'm over here next. Uh, yeah, you're probably right about that. <laughs> All right, no, that looks great. That's, uh, and the shackles, I thought we needed to grease them, but only on polyurethane, not rubber. So, learn something new every day. So, and I figured out also that these have to be equal. You can't just hit it with the gun, like Mark, Mark's told me that's incorrect. So this is a Ford eight inch rear end from 1966. Evidently there's two different size um, flanges out here. You can either have a small flange or a, a, the large flange. This is the small flange. So you use a smaller axle gasket in there. Um, I went and ordered these from a parts store and uh, it gives you the dimensions of the uh, that 2.081 right there is the outside diameter of this. Now, the reason we're having this conversation is when it should have been something just simple is that when I put this in here, you're supposed to be able to drive it in there. But as you can see, it just slips in there. Um, the other side I was able to install and I drove it in with this, with this seal driver right here. So, <clears throat> Yeah, it's kind of kind of strange. So this was the old seal, and uh, you, you can't just set it in there. You actually have to drive it in. So this that was an interesting thing. So I'm gonna go back to the parts store and get another one of the same part because I think they just mi mismade this part because this one was is correct. This one is incorrect and I measured it with my calipers this measured 2.700 so it was 11 thousandths too small so I'm hoping that's all it is because the next bushing up or the next axle seal is uh 2.26 which would be too big so we'll find out I was able to get the bearings off the axles using this super cool bearing separator tool it pushes on the, the back flange here. That's how I removed the bearings. So. All right, making progress tonight. Got the bearings, new bearings on. They're looking good. Wire wheeled, the, painted the axles. Got the seal in, got the correct size seal. It was the right part number, it just was a defective part. So, finally got it installed. So I got some work done on the rear end here. I got the axles installed, the backing plates put on. Uh, looks really good. Got the brake line hooked up there. And uh, went and mocked up the front calipers, got them installed. Had to do some clearancing down here on this dust, dust shield here on both sides. So uh, now it clears, it looks good. Went to, I was gonna try and put these uh, rotors on, but this rotor, the race was, installed backwards in there so 
I pounded it out and I had to buy new new races for both sides. And then this one was so rusty, I was like, well, I'll just replace both races. So I, I put the new race inside here already. You can see it looks pretty good. So <clears throat> looks good. I also, uh, the guy that I, the people that I bought the Mustang, this Mustang from, they also had a 65 convertible. So I sold it to a friend of a friend, got that sold, and uh, I'll attach that to this video, then pulling that thing out. It was pretty, pretty amazing. And then the nephew came down and uh, I helped him. We changed the condenser and the points uh, out of the distributor on his that white Mustang we moved last week. And we were able to, we changed the oil on it and got it started and running. And then he worked really hard on it the next day, uh, messing with the transmission fluid and just trying to burp the coolant and everything else and was able to get it running. So he was able to drive it around the yard, which was truly awesome to see. Uh, I, I'll have that video on here too. And then also this weekend, we, we ended up moving the third Mustang that was over there, uh, which is the, the owner's son's car. So we were able to pull that around and get it parked under the lean-to so he can start working on it. So productive weekend, but uh, man, it's, a, it's, it's pretty exciting seeing all these Mustangs like this. Oh yeah, you're rolling good now. Hey, brakes, 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 brakes. Okay, just making sure the brakes worked. <laughs> okay. The brake worked? Yep. All right. <laughs> 